everybody. <coughs> I just thought I'd give you an update about where we're at with everything and I just wanted to um, thank everybody as well. There's been lots of cake eating and skydiving and cycling and swimming and walking and there's so many other things that I've probably forgotten, so many fantastic things that people have been doing. Uh, the bingo night was just hilarious and I apologise for all my sober dancing but um, it was an amazing night. So the updates are I went to University of College of London to have a biopsy done because there are some drug trials available through the NHS. Obviously there are trials so there's a 50% chance that they would work. There's four trials available. Unfortunately when we went up to see the College of London um, the biopsy revealed that I'm not suitable for the trials. It doesn't it doesn't match basically. There's no there's no um, trial available that I'm viable for. Um, there might be one coming up shortly, but again, it depends on whether the cells that they culture respond to the treatment they have on option. So that option's out for the time being. And unfortunately, again, I didn't realise or I wasn't told until we went back that there was only a 5% success chance of me matching the biopsy to the drugs. So it was a very slim chance anyway. So we kind of had to recover from that because that was obviously a big blow because that was our backup plan basically. And then we went to see Southampton. Now Southampton and a, a, an excellent place in France is offering me the same treatment. It's called CERT, it's Selective Internal Radiation Therapy. So basically they put radioactive beads in the tumours to break them down from the inside out. Now this is their next step. I believe and breaking it down enough for it to become operable but there's a couple of differences of opinion Southampton excellent team we went to meet them they're just fantastic really really good people they're charging £30,000 because there's no funding through the NHS for this anymore it was pulled in March so we have to find the £30,000 so obviously everybody's fundraising that's fantastic we're creeping towards that now they want to treat the right side of my liver now that's where the main tumour is that's where it all started now they want to get rid of they want to break that one down now that would mean that I would still have the secondary ones in the left which potentially they could um, use another technique to uh, reduce those because you can only have the cert once France, on the other hand, want to treat the secondary ones on the left-hand side of my tumour. It is, give or take, half the price um, because it appears that France is doing it with the cost of the medicine alone. So they're not charging me for the doctor's time. They're doing it because I need it, basically. And they're just they're covering their costs because the, the medicine is 10,000 alone in either country, 10, 15,000 pounds alone. A lot of money. Um, and we have asked uh, my sister-in-law kindly to translate over to the surgeon. If they treated the secondary ones, would that mean I'd be viable for surgery on the main one? So, both countries believe that CERT is the way to go, but they have different opinions. And this obviously makes it a bit more complicated for us because we're going to have to pick which one we think is the better option for myself. Obviously, Southampton logistically is a lot easier because it's, you know, on the train, you off to Southampton. France is slightly more complicated because from Southampton I have to, have to fly to France and then you know all those things about being out the country over the summer holidays it does make it a bit more complicated. Now if, now the big if, if I had a CT scan on Friday and unfortunately it's shown that there's growth in all the tumours. Now um, obviously today as you can see by my face I've been having to deal with that news because they told me that during my eighth or the beginning of the eighth round of my chemotherapy and uh, yeah that wasn't that wasn't pleasant to hear so again the treatment that Southampton or France can give me now I have to hope that when it's reviewed they can still pull it off because the NHS's backup option is another general all body chemotherapy called Full Fox. Now, we did 
we did ask whether we could have the chemotherapy changed in May just because this one that I was trying the gem cytobine and the cisplatin wasn't working but um, for uh, the person that we were under said that they wanted to us to speak to the professor in London before the chemotherapy was changed obviously I've had another two rounds of unsuccessful chemotherapy so I went in today for round eight I started my round eight got the update I'm not finishing round eight I'm just gonna scrap it Southampton want me to move on this really quickly they've asked me if I can basically go in for my workup next week in a two-week break and then go in for the main thing France are the same they want me to go in August I'm really hoping that's still the case if not, the NHS is another general chemo um, chemotherapy which I'll have to have a pick line put in my arm. So basically it's like a pump and it delivers it over 48 hours. Um, but the success rate of that is like 10% again. So that's my update. And um, I just wanted you to know that all your hard work and your effort, we could never really pay it. Um... But you know, you know that the money is raised is going towards these treatments. And if we were to go to France, obviously, the money that would be left over would be put for the next bunch of treatment. Southampton said that the chemotherapy is um, highly experimental. They've had a lot of patients with it, about 100. I may be eligible for that in the future, probably not on the NHS. So that's about 120,000. So any money that we are raising, or you guys are helping raise, or raising for us, is sort of, we're aiming for that operation, guys. We just, we get this thing under control, and then we can move forward. And another just very small thing, and it might sound silly to some. Okay. I'm thinking that positive thoughts create miracles. So if you could all just have that positive thought that I'm going to get that good news. It's been a tough year of bad news for us. We can all just, I know it's a silly thing to ask, but if everybody just has that positive feeling that I'm going to get that new good news, that something is working, that something is getting this thing under control, that we can operate. That'd be great, because then I could be making a positive video. <laughs> Sending out my lo love to you all. So yeah, that's my update. I'm going to go before I, st I start up again, because I think we've all seen enough crime videos. I'm looking forward to the day when I can put up a happy thank you, I'm all better video. So all keep thinking positively because positive thinking will create miracles. And we send our love to every single one of you that has supported us, fundraised for us, come up to us with ideas for healthy eating, a few very out there ideas, the people that are just really coming together for me. And we love this amazing community, this community and beyond is reaching out to people. So thank you. As soon as we have a decision about where we're going and everything, I'll send you another update because we're kind of all in this together now. Thank you. Bye.